A while back, I made a video about this LG 360 camera, but I just did the initial unboxing video and I think a quick sample from it, and that was about as far as I ever went with it. And that's for one big reason. LG didn't really provide a way to actually edit the 360 degree video. I did a lot of research, I did a lot of looking around, and most of the solutions that I found were a paid monthly subscription or yearly subscription, and I really didn't want to get locked into that. And that's actually kept me from purchasing other 360 cameras. It's kept me from using the camera. But today I may have found my option that's not a paid monthly subscription. Cyberlink reached out to me and said their brand new version of PowerDirector, PowerDirector 15, comes with a built-in 360 degree video editor. And while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and mention it here. Cyberlink is sponsoring this video, so thanks to them for that. But once you see what you're able to do with this software, you'll see that these are actually my genuine impressions of the software. This is my real thoughts and opinions on it. So let's take a look at it. And to do that, we have to actually move over to the computer. So the copy of PowerDirector that I received came with basically three different apps and a bunch of different add-ons. So you've got PowerDirector 15, you have the Screen Recorder 15, and a Wave Editor. But where we'll spend most of the time today is in the PowerDirector. So when you first open it up, this is what you're going to see. You can use the Full Featured Editor, the Easy Editor if you're not really familiar with things, or just 360 if that's what you want to do. I'm going to go straight into the Full Featured Editor myself, because you can still use the 360 degree editor from within the Full Featured Editor. Takes just a minute to start up, and there you have it. What I really like about this is just how easy that it's made it for me to be able to edit 360 footage. So, as an example, I have a directory here full of files that I pulled off my iPhone that I pulled off of the LG 360 camera. So I can just select all of these and drag them over here. And at this point, let's go ahead and start pulling some of these clips in. So we drag this one into the timeline. There's a minor conflict in terms of the frame rates. Not a big deal, just hit OK on that. But then you see you've added 360 video. Do you want to make it 2D or do you want to make a 360 project? I'm going to do 360. And with that, I can go ahead and pull in all the rest of my clips and we're ready to begin. But now that we're in the 360 editor, I can actually start cutting out the parts of the video that I don't want. This is why I've been waiting for so long for 360 degree editing. But I can also do it in 360 mode. This little 360 button here, you can see this looks weird and stretched out. But if I hit the 360 mode button, we go into full 360 mode where I can click and drag around and you can see everything, including this Thanksgiving meal. If I find a part of a video I want to take out, I can go ahead and hit the delete button and I'm presented with a few options here. If you have parts of your clip that you want to take out, you can actually make cuts to it. As you can see here, I've set up the camera and I don't necessarily want to leave that in. You can just head on over to the edit menu and hit split or hit control T and that will split it wherever your playhead is. And from there you can continue cutting and deleting parts of the video that you just don't want anymore. And through the entire editing process, you have full 360 degree control. Just click and drag around to see whatever it is that you want to see at all times. If you'd like to add something over top of the scene, like a, a picture or a video, you can definitely do that. Always best to make sure the camera is in a stable position though, so you're not having to deal with motion tracking or anything. But as you can see there, you just drag your picture down onto the lower timeline, click the 360 degree button again to go back into the flattened view, resize your image there, put it wherever it is you want it in the scene, and it will stay there. But if we go back into the 360 mode now, you can see behind me the picture is looking like it's on the wall, sort of. And then as we go ahead and play through the scene, you can see when we get back to that part, it's still there, and it's staying there no matter what. We can even add new audio on top of it, we can add other videos to play back on top of it. That's kind of loud, but there's a video playing. Once you're done, once you're ready to make this a YouTube video, you hit the produce button. You can either make a local H.264 video, or if you click the online tab, you can have it go straight up to either Facebook or YouTube. You can specify the profile that you want to use and all the titles and descriptions and everything for either Facebook or YouTube. You will have to go through and authorize your account, but after that, it works just fine. I've tested the YouTube upload and it worked excellently for me. Just have to make sure you fill everything out. But going back over to the software, as you can see, there are loads and loads of features I haven't covered yet. Things like adding 3D effects, adding text, titles, transitions, making changes to the audio, or even doing voiceovers. So this thing is definitely a very full featured editor. All of these features work in both the full mode as well as the 360 mode. And I think that's where I'm gonna wrap things up for today. So back over to the main camera. So as you can hopefully see from that quick demo there, for one flat fee, you get a video editor, screen recording software, a 360 degree video editor. So it is full featured, it deals with everything that you've got, and even deals with the hassle of uploading to YouTube for you with the 360 video. And for the price that they're asking, it is absolutely a steal. If you are just getting into 360 video, I highly recommend you taking a look at it. As a reminder, this video is sponsored, but these opinions are my own, because I am really impressed with what you can do with it. Thanks to you guys as always for watching. Again, thanks to Cyberlink for reaching out and for 
sponsoring this video. Remember to leave a thumbs up down below this video if you like this video. You can find links to where you can find PowerDirector 15 down in the video description. Subscribe to the channel to receive all of my videos when they become available, and I will see you again next time, maybe in 360.